When you start the jury selection process, especially for a case of this magnitude, there's no telling how long it could take. The goal is to get a pool of 42 potential jurors before we move on to the next phase. We had 17 move forward on day one, 13 move forward on day two, bringing us to a total of 30, which means we still have 12 more to go. We're one day closer to opening arguments in the trial for Lori Vallow Daybell. Jury selection still underway. Similar to day one, several potential jurors quickly dismissed Tuesday due to undue hardship, essentially saying the eight week time commitment of reporting to the courthouse would cause a personal burden, in most cases financially. Different on Tuesday, the opportunity for media and the public present at the courthouse to listen in to individual voir dire, particularly questioning about pre trial publicity. Both sides wanting to know what each juror knows already about the defendant from news reports, the internet and documentaries on the case. The high profile Idaho case drawing people like Melanie Johnson to the courthouse to watch the process unfold. She plans to be here every day. Well, the kids grandparents really touched me. You know, they didn't know what had happened. They were begging. Please tell us where the kids are. And there were no answers. I still don't know the answers, so that's why I'm here. The individuals questioned warned to expect emotional testimony and evidence, including autopsy photos involving the deaths of two children and a mother of five. Tuesday's goal, get through three groups of 15 and one day closer to a pool of 42 potential jurors before peremptory strikes narrow things down to the final 18. Now, it was interesting to note logistically, not only would these potential jurors have to commit eight weeks to being here every day at the 80 County Courthouse, but the state and the judge mentioned the possibility still on the table for sequestration, meaning that these potential jurors could be isolated from friends and family for that entire duration. That has still not been decided. Day two wrapped up around 5.30 p.m. Day three of jury selection starts Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Reporting at the 80 County Courthouse, I'm Karen Lair.